After the headlines of human trafficking busts, there is critical and sensitive work that goes into helping the women, men, and children who have been abused. Here in Central Florida, care for survivors is provided by our community champion of the week, the Lifeboat Project. Jill Bolander Cohen is the founder of this group. Jill, thank you for coming in today. Thank you, Michelle. We are so happy to honor you. Tell us a little bit about the Lifeboat Project and what you guys do. The Lifeboat Project is a service provider for victims of human trafficking. And we wanted to be on kind of what, what I call the back end, um, when people are self-identified or coming out of their trafficking situation, there's usually an, an emergency. It's an emergency situation, and then they may go to um, some type of a, of a program for a year or two. Lifeboat is, uh, we believe in a housing first, get them housed and then provide the wraparound services for them. So we're, we're a little different. Um, and so that's what we do. We provide services, get them into um, college if that's what they want to do, get their GED and um, counseling. How have you, how did you get involved in this? Well, probably in 2010, 2011, I am involved with the Presbyterian Church USA and I was um, in Washington, D.C. and found out that uh, Florida was ranked third in the nation. Wow for human trafficking, and I-4 was one of the most heavily trafficked corridors. And I was born and raised in Altamont Springs, graduated from Lake Brantley High School, and I just said, this is unacceptable, and we need to do something about it. And you did. And I did, and then uh, started the Lifeboat Project in a few years. A few of us got together that were working on human trafficking, and we co-founded the Great Orlando Human Trafficking Task Force, which has also branched off um, into different task force and, and got the community and when we partner with all NGOs and law enforcement officers. And people can help you in your mission. How can they do that? Absolutely. We have a facility in Apopka. Survivors do not live there, but they come and, and um, you know, they can apply for jobs or whatever it is that they need to do. Um, we have, it's a four acre facility and uh, we have an aquaponics garden. So if somebody wants to garden and help us with that, the survivors, some of them are growing their own vegetables. It's pretty phenomenal. And, um, we have events coming up um, next Wednesday at Mercedes. We have the WMMO coming together event from six to eight. So if someone's interested in coming to that, they'll hear more about it. One exciting thing is May of last year, the Lifeboat Project was gifted four beautiful properties for housing for, for the survivors. Wow. Yes, so uh, we are in the process of rehabbing. We just received a Home Depot Foundation uh, a very big grant uh, to work on our LGBTQ transitional home. So you're just expanding and growing, yeah. so you'll be able to help more people in our community Absolutely. Here. And Absolutely. can people donate? Absolutely. You can go to uh, www.thelifeboatproject.org, and there's a donate page, and there is an events page, and ways to get involved, volunteer if you'd like me to come speak, or, or one of our other... Um, volunteers to come speak were available. It just, we have a few seconds left. What's the one thing you want people to know um, about your organization? Maybe if someone has a misconception about what you do. That we take, with the Lifeboat Project works with anyone that is a victim of human trafficking, uh, male, female, um, up to 100 years old. There's not an age limit. If you need help and you've been trafficked, uh, the Lifeboat Project is there for you, and we want to walk with you the rest of your life if, if that's what, what you choose. I'm sure many people appreciate, yeah. appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jill, for coming thank in. Thank you. And thank you for being our Community Champion of the Week. We want to hear <laughs> about the people that you consider Community Champions. You can nominate them to be a WESH2 Community Champion of the Week. Just go to WESH.com and tell us all about them. The link is right on the homepage. All right.